Konnichiwa everybody, I'm Chief Skarnak. Welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Poke Park Wii Pikachu the Adventure. Last time we finished up at the Haunted Zone, and in this episode we are going to head off into the Granite Zone. I might as well say right now that um, starting in this episode, things are going to be a little different. As you can tell, my audio is a little different. It's a little more clear and a little more softer. That is because I'm using a different microphone, and right now I am very much enjoying it. I'm also going to be um, shortening these videos because I feel that they're way too long. That and also because I watched the all-star panel review of me. Thanks, Bundy. So, yeah, I'm changing a few things, but overall things are still basically going to be the same formula. In this episode, we are going to talk to Skorupi here and he's going to let us into the Gratid Zone. I don't care what you say, because I have had it with uh, doing voices for Pokemon in this game, but I'm still going to do them nevertheless because I think they're too fun. <laughs> What was that speaking? I heard a loud noise over this way. Did something happen in the Granite Zone? Pikachu, Mira has told you that Sky Blue Moon was alright. We need to collect the prison pieces as quickly as we can. What? Sky prison pieces? I see. Mira has asked you to bring Sky. Yeah, yeah. That's dumb. I know. I know. So, yeah, we better hurry up because, um. It's just like Red Rescue Team, where we had to stop a meteor from crashing down, and this need to stop the Sky Pavilion from crashing down. What is it with me in playing Pokemon games where I play as a Pokemon, and I need to save the world from destruction from something that's falling from the sky? I don't know. I'm noticing a pattern here. Yeah, Pikachu just keeps somersaulting away. Welcome to the Granite Zone, what might possibly be my favorite zone in the game. I love this place. It's so cool. And it's very Zelda Dungeon-esque, which I like. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get right on into it. Here we have Eevee, Ferret, and Lopini. I don't really care too much about them. Get out of my way. Because, again, I only make friends unless I really, really need to. I might make eventually befriend all all the Pokemon on screen up here Charizard welcome Pikachu I've heard so much about you now I must tell you this only those who are worthy worthy of reaching the sky pavilion can travel past the granite zone the ruins here will test you just as the ancient promise said by the way did the ground shake a while ago it makes me feel uneasy yeah that's nice thanks Charizard over here is an attraction with Absol, so we're going to quickly talk to him, see what he has to say. This attraction has a long history. We'll continue to guard the ruins. It doesn't matter whether the ground shakes or the sky falls. Absol. I'll have to ask 40 berries if you want to play Absol's Hurdle Bounce. Let's do it! Absol. Then let's begin. Come this way. Alright, we're doing an attraction right off the bat. Absol's Hurdle Bounce. Run as fast as you can and leave over the hurdle to achieve your goal by beating the clock. How to play, shake your moment start running, the more you shake, the faster you go. Press 2 to the nearest hurdle to jump it. Stomping into the hurdles will slow you down. Once you clear the final hurdle, shake your moment as quickly as you can to help, to help you sprint to the finish line. Ponyta, Lompany, and Breloom are the best Pokemon to use here. I have Pikachu, Chikorita, and Riolu to play as. So, I'll stick with Pikachu. I think Pikachu will be the fastest. Since Pikachu does have the fastest speed out of the three. Goal is 16, bonus is 18.50. The goal is shorter than the bonus, so yeah. 3, 2, 1. I'll trigger it. You're racing too. Dang it! Come on, come on, come on. Stop it! Oh, right now we got like Rio to worry about too. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I'm not even dancing. That's how much I sucked. Let's play again. It's just the fact that you have to push a button while you're shaking the remotes, or... I don't know. Let's go! Ah! Oh, oh, thanks, Dr. Trio. I kinda needed that. Dang it! No, 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 that sucked. That sucked too. I'll be 
it, it was better, even though the only people dancing for me are like everyone except for Drift, Bloom, and Hop. They don't give a flying feather. Let's try that like, once again. Jeez. I don't think this this probably just has to be the hardest um, attraction so far. I don't know that Asshole's like fast as crap. What? Absol! I don't care about what I just wanna dare you! God, oh my god, Absol, you're like Sonic! Holy freaking crap, now I'm dancing! Okay, what's my bonus? 300 berries, new record, oh yes. That's how awesome we are. Uh, awesome loading screen? I guess? Whatever. Absol, nicely handled. Fine job claiming my attraction. Let me give you a prison piece. Sweet. I only have two more to go. It's surprising how I'm almost done with the game. Probably because my episodes were really long. Until this one, which is going to be almost 20 minutes. Of the Sky Pavilion, which lies beyond the ruins. It is said that it houses some mysterious power that protects the Poke Park. Now, we have lost the rainbow. And the ground is shaking. Could it mean that something has happened in the Sky Pavilion? Somehow, that uh, makes us friends for some uh, reason. It doesn't matter, I freaking love Absol. If you could probably tell from my Red Red Team Let's Play. Alright, over here, Hot Pip, what do you have to say? Hot Pip? Huh? Only through Blue Fairy Absol's attraction can go through. Why? Well, it's part of the promise we've kept since ancient times. Okay, now that you've cleared the attraction, you may go. Thanks for uh, thank you for honoring the ancient promise. What ancient promise? I'll show you when you become friends. This, by the way, is not part of our ancient promise. I just like you. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, over here we have a switch puzzle. It's probably the easiest switch puzzle in video game history. Reminds me of Zelda, doesn't it? Okay. Now we have two directions to go. We could go down here, which leads us to another hallway. Right down here, or we could go up that ramp. I looks like we can't go this way yet, so we're just gonna head back. Unless there's a switch over here. There's under the door over here, which I can't go in yet. All right. So that is just for future reference. Hitting that switch again will just switch the ramp again. Just switch this. Walkway again, whatever it is. As such. So we're just gonna leave that there for now. We're gonna head up here to this ramp, see what we can find. Freaking long ramp, I have to say. Alright, here's the drifting stop. Oh. You there, are you looking for the sky pavilion? Come talk to me. Oh hi Flygon. Uh, not quite yet. I wanted to get Drift Bloom over here first. Hey! Stop interrupting me! Dear God, fine, I'll talk to you. Dear God, won't let me do what I want. You might have come a long way. I'm sure you've noticed this huge gate. Who hasn't? This is the Promise Gate, and your gold, the Sky Villain, lies be is behind it. Beyond it. I only let those with persistence, wisdom, and courage pass through. If you wish to carry on, you must collect the three secret words. Three secret words, huh? Well then, that's pretty cryptic. Thank you, very. Thank you very freaking much. Okay, now there's a statue over here of. Yep, Rayquaza. And yes, I understand that in my Red Rescue Team Let's Play, I called him Rayquaza. I'm actually starting to get into the habit of calling him Rayquaza. Because um, not only do like a lot of other people say Rayquaza, I just think it also sounds cooler. Rayquaza, I'm the one who protected the Granite Zone. If you wish to pass this point, you must defeat me in battle. Prepare yourself. Oh boy, you got Blast Toys to worry about now. Come at me, bro. Dang it! Whoa! Could have sworn I had you. There we go. There we go. Boom. Whoa! Oh 
boy. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Yes! Oh, I'm awesome. I understand you. You are magnificent. You may proceed. Admit it that I'm not strong enough to protect the granite dome. I must retain myself somehow. Goodbye. Alright, what's over this way? Why, of course. It's the it's the stairway. Not the stairway. I don't even know what to call this thing. The walkway. Jeez. It's a good thing I switched it that one time or else I would have to go all the way back. Okay, now this is sort of a puzzle as well. This is like a big labyrinth. There's the place where we couldn't go to before. As you can tell, some of these paths are blocked off. Um, I don't know, that one that just leads to a dead end. So we're going to head over here because I'm pretty sure there was a, a passage over here that wasn't blocked other than up there. Yep, it's Skorupi. Why did I turn around? When you go up the slope across stones, there's a square to open a secret door. So they say, I try to get there myself, but stones begin to move and cross them, so I move quickly. Okay. That sounds simple enough. What switch? Which is it you talking about? Oh my jeez. Whoa, okay. I guess it just saves me the trouble of having to jump long distances. Well, that's very convenient, I have to say. Jumping across here. Hit the switch. What does it do? It turns off the fire. Shortcut. And it opens this door. You remember that door from like five minutes ago, do you? Maybe even less. Alright, so we are done over here. Let's jump down and somehow Pikachu survived that fall. Let's head into the secret door and see what there is down here. If I remember correctly, it's Porygon Z. And I'm pretty sure he gives you one of the three secret words. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. What, 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 was, what was that it's supposed to be? Uh, how'd you find this room? I come here sometimes. I remind myself how lonely you can feel. And how lucky I am to have friends. Sometimes you need to be alone. Hmm, I wonder if you were even listening to me. Were you looking for secret words? Hear me, if you answer my question correctly, I will tell you one. Let's have a quiz. Very well. What are we waiting for? Alright, first question. Who told you to collect three secret words? Oh, that'd be fine. Huh? Exactly right! On to the next question. Who did these Pokemon are the best at Absol's attraction? Love me. Exactly right! And now for the final question. Who said the attraction in the Metal Zone shouldn't be played? That would be Venusaur, that big jerk. Exactly right! You know so much, I'll give you my secret word. Love. Oh. Oh, how cliche. You learned secret word. The word is love. Porygon Z, now my friend. Even though we haven't come across Porygon 1 or Porygon 2. <laughs> I don't even know why I called it Porygon 1. I don't know, I'm weird like that. So anyways, we are going to head over this way. There's one more ramp that we didn't go up, so we're going to quickly go up there. Because something has to be up here, otherwise it wouldn't be there. It is Bronzor. The brothers of the ruins had a way of splitting with us heart to heart. In the same way, the Sky Pavilion was built with our help. Continue onward if you wish to learn still more. Hold it, not so fast. Do you know at least one of the secret words? That's right, secret words are the words of love. And that's strange because, well, never mind, let's be friends. Now climb up the pyramid and find the second secret word. Well, that was a weird voice I did right there. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's Electivire. What do you have to say? You, are you the one they call Lightning Track in the Lava Zone? Don't you think that name could suit me better? Who's better qualified to be called Lightning Strike anyway? This can be decided by battle. Defeat me, and I'll accept you as the true owner of the name Lightning Strike. I'll let you pass by, of course. 
Uh, now apparently all of these uh, uh, problems now get to be solved with violence. I said Iron Tail. Whatever. Iron Tail is really hard to pull off in a way. There we go. Ooh. What happened? How did I... I don't know. What an incredible surprise! I never forget that Poke Park had a Pokemon and stuff as you. You move like lightning. Your skills are super sharp. Now I must leave this place. I must I must retrain. retrain and return stronger. We must battle meet again. Sweet. Moving on to the switch right up here. What did it do? This turns off those flames. Now I may proceed. Stop that! Stop that! <sighs> What's over this way, may I ask? It is a carrier. Or a rope cart. Whatever it is. I don't care. This looks sketchy. Like, beyond all belief. Togekiss, what do you have to say? Scott Billy for everybody's sake? Oh, just for your own? Tell you what. Succeed in my obstacle hop, and I'll tell you my secret word. Can you try my obstacle hop? Let's get started. Holy fart. No pressure. If I just fall, I fall to my death. See, this is even more sketchy than rope carts. Ah! Oh, there I go. <laughs> Okay, somehow I lived through that. Just as soon as I say, oh, this is really sketchy, I might. You know, I'm just gonna shut up now because um, I really hate to jump. You know, Chief, there's something called a camera. It takes like two seconds to move. That'd be very nice to move, Chief. Why didn't you think of it before, you dumb fart? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so mean to myself sometimes. That's much better. Your reach is got Scott Billy and are unselfish, right? Congratulations, you must take a word. Peace. Love. Peace. The last secret word life was Snorlax in the cavern zone? Are you freaking kidding me? I hate you guys. Very well then. Well, I'm just about out of time for this episode, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure. We will return to the Granite Zone, and we will talk to Snorlax, get the last secret word, and move on with our adventure. But until then, I'm Chief Skarnik. Sayonara.